Bradford University was told to shelter in place for several hours yesterday while police investigated a reported threat to a residence hall. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman is working for you to see how a prank call about a shooting is a part of a trend sweeping the nation. Abby. Yeah, guys, uh, Radford University students feared the possibility of an active shooter on campus yesterday after police received a threatening 911 call. But this call was a part of a nationwide trend known as swatting. Radford University Police Captain Sam Shoemate was on duty when the 911 call came into city police. So they called us through that line, said, hey, we just got a 911 call saying there was a active shooter in Washington Hall. Shoemate says once police arrived on the scene, they knew something was off. Going up through there, there wasn't the chaos that normally happens with active shooting. Shoemate quickly realized they had been the victim of a swatting call, a 911 call that lures law enforcement to a non-existent scene. Shoemate says students were upset. So they were very unhappy that people take time just to do that to disrupt you know, the daily operation of the university, plus, you know, it's exam week and they're studying. Shoemate says the department takes every call seriously and use their active shooter protocol. And I was like, okay, this is just one of those SWAT callings. So, but we always have to sit there and make sure that we're doing our due diligence, clearing all the rooms, just to make sure that there really is nothing that's there. Yeah, guys, state swatting is a state and federal offense. Governor Youngkin recently signed a law that will make this punishable by up to a year in jail and a $2,500 fine. It's considered a felony offense if someone is injured as a result of the call. In Radford, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.